am so excited to show you something completely new that I don't think you've ever seen because I just got to hang out um, with some German pamper shop consultants for a couple days and this is actually uh, one of the recipes that was made at a German cooking party I went to a couple years ago. So it's like a dough and I made it all from scratch, okay? It even like fluffed up. I was like so excited when I opened it. I was like, yeah, it's like a dough, okay? Because it's not my strength and it might not look as pretty as maybe when some of you guys bake, but I'm still proud of myself, okay? So um, come follow along as I show you what I do with this. Now you could probably um, do this with some kind of Pillsbury pizza crust or something, I'm sure, but I am trying to be Susie Homemaker here and make everything from scratch, okay? So uh, comment live if you're watching live, comment replay if you're watching the replay, and just come hang out with me as I try this Faltenbrot, which basically means um, bread with um, uh, wrinkles, I guess, wrinkle bread. <laughs> uh, but it's like doughy, pizza-y kind of dough, okay? So come hang out, and if this all works out, I'll share the recipe, okay? If it all works out, I'll share the recipe. So this is the dough. I made it, um, I actually made it early this morning. It was super simple. It's like milk and yeast, and it's very, it's a very soft, very soft dough, okay? Um, so I'm trying to channel my inner baker here and just try some fun things, fun different things, okay? So it's very soft. It's been resting for a little bit. It only supposed to rest for like 30 minutes, but we're gonna go ahead and roll this out. And I actually love to use our powdered sugar shaker. So if you're if you're working with dough, the powdered sugar shaker is great to kind of flour your surface. And then we're also using the Pamper Chef pastry mat as well. Oh, I should get my roller. Let me go get my roller. So as you're popping in, comment live so I know who's watching and come with me as we make this as the German people call it, wrinkle bread. We might need a better name for this. So, so let's see, let me get my roller real quick. Okay, so um, we're gonna roll this into a rectangle. So I love to use Pamper Chef's Baker's Roller. How many of you guys have this? Um, I have the regular roller too, but this one is just so much easier okay so you roll this out into a rectangle and this dough is oh my god it is so easy to work with wow it's like soft and airy i'm not supposed to be eating this but i might have to take a bite tonight <laughs> right did you guys miss me i was gone for like a whole week anybody miss me but yeah my german brain is turned on i got to spend two days after the official pamper chef trip um, I was asked to stay and inspire and teach and train and motivate the German Pamper Chef consultants, which was fun. Um, and it turned on my German brain, which is, which is good because that is my first language and somehow not my best anymore, but that's what happens, right? Um, so wow, I can't believe how airy this dough is. Okay, but here's what's really cool. Here's what you do now, um, which I'm probably going to mess it up because it's my first time, but... I hope it's okay that I mess up. Is that okay? Because I don't think anybody wants to see the perfect cooking show, right? Um, I always say, if you want, if you want to watch the perfect cooking show, turn on the Food Network because <laughs> it's definitely not me. All right, so here we go. So you roll it out into a rectangle, okay? And then we are going to cut it. I believe it said six strips, but I'm not sure. I mean, should I cut it? Hmm. I don't know. We're just gonna go. This is new too, whatever it's called. I don't know. But we're just going to cut it into these strips okay you don't want to use your pizza roll on the pastry mat because it would cut it um, which is not fun um, oh you thought it was your niece that's funny uh, I'm sure I have a different accent though right <laughs> so okay so I have to share this dough recipe with you guys well first I have to taste it but for now it is super easy to work with which is really cool. Okay, I lost count, but that's okay. This is why I'm not a baker, because I just do things my way. <laughs> it's like super, super fluffy, so I'm just gonna push this out. But then you can fill this with anything you want. So you can just do like a herb butter, 
Um, you can fill this actually too with cheese and pepperoni and all this fun stuff and have like a pizza wrinkle bread, <laughs> okay? Um, so I wasn't quite sure which stone I was gonna use, but I think I know which one. But anyway, so here's what you do next. Um, you could do like a herb butter. I decided I'm gonna experiment and I'm gonna use the garlic parmesan oil that Pamper Chef just launched a couple months ago, maybe. We're gonna pour that into our little prep bowl. Mm. I wish you guys could smell it. it. Smells so good. Okay, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna take a little silicone brush, okay? So hang on with me until the end because we're gonna do something really fun. We're not gonna roll this. If you think we're rolling this, we're not rolling it, okay? So we're gonna do that. Brushy, brushy. You can see, I don't know if you can see it over there, but um, there's like actual garlic pieces in here. It smells fantastic. So if this sounds intriguing, is this something you would, I mean, come on, who doesn't like garlic bread? Okay, if this is something you would like to eat, comment below. Do, 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 do. And I'm officially over jet lag, if anybody, in case anybody's interested, but I think I'm officially over. I slept like a normal person last night, which is great. All right, so here we go. I love to coat this like a lot because I like these chunks that are in here. You see the chunks of garlic and herb? So this is Pamper Chef's garlic and herb seasoning. Okay, this is gonna mess it up. So we'll see what happens. So I actually, I think I used the big one. So these, this is our baker set, our rectangular baker set. There's a small and a medium. There's the stretch lids for these as well. Do you guys love stoneware? Who loves stoneware? Comment below, who loves stoneware? All right, so I think I'm gonna use this. If it's too big, Oh, wow. Do you think I should? Yeah, okay. Well, I don't want to make it too small, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I don't want to mess it up. Should I use the medium one? Um, maybe I'll use the medium one. Okay, maybe I'll use the medium one. Let's do that because it's supposed to look like overflowing um, and stuff like that. Okay, so here's what you do. You then grab a piece and, well, maybe I'll start from the top. And, oops, can you see that? Nope. All right, you grab a piece and then you just kind of fold it over like that. Oh, it needs to be the other way though. Crap. <laughs> How do I do that? Oh, maybe the other way. All right, like this. All right, da -da. Yeah, something like that. Oh yeah, like accordion style. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think it's working. <laughs> look at me, I'm so excited when I get stuff to work out. So it's supposed to kind of look like this. And then you put it in your little baker and then it's going to like puff up. Okay. Ha uh ha. -huh. Something like that. Oh my God. Why do I suck at this? There you go. Um, there we go. Like that. And you're going to get your hands. Oh, I'm sure there's a simpler way and I just don't get it, but that's okay. So it's like folded like this. So that's why they call it wrinkle bread. So we can probably get about two per line. So yeah, that's good that I use that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna continue on here. If you want the recipe, let me know. I had to translate and re-measure all the ingredients because um, in Europe, you measure with grams and not cups and all that fun stuff. So um, yeah, first I have to taste test it, right? So anyway, so I won't keep you too long, but this is kind of what it's gonna look like. It's gonna all puff up and it's like wrinkle bread. <laughs> I think we need to come up with a better name. I don't know, if you have a better name, let me know. But that's what it's supposed to look like. So I'm gonna continue on. Thanks for popping in. Hope you guys are having a great day and ciao for now.